feet turned inwards and his hands turned outwards. Is <laughs> <laughs> he laughing at you, Moses? Uh, yeah, this is Moses. He's the old boy in our troop. And he suffered two really bad bites on his back. And they've left terrible scars. We didn't actually intervene at the time. Um, we we might have if we had been able to catch him, but he was not going to be caught. And um, we kept an eye on him and watched him heal, and he healed incredibly well. And now he's left with two quite big scars across his back. But um, he's still in the troop and maintained his position here. He's not the big guy in charge, but uh, they do allow him to be around. He's just an old chap that's no threat to anyone, actually. <laughs> he comes and asks for food at the door when he feels like he should be fed. He has been fed a lot today. But he's had a lot to eat. Um, we do leave food out in our garden and uh, the monkeys come and help themselves. Yes. Someone's arriving. And somebody's arriving. And this little one that's come and sit here, her name is Skinny Girl. Let's see if I can find her. She was a very, very low ranking female in our troop and very, very thin and weak. And we at times thought that we might have to catch her because she wasn't going to make it. But we looked after her and supplement fed her, leaving her with her wild troop. And now she's a nice chubby girl. She is pregnant, I think, this year. But she's still young. We she's can, always late with her baby. She is she's always late. late birth, um, she can clearly be seen by that little kink in her tail where there was a break at the back end, there by the little black tip. So she's very easy to see from the other monkeys. That's our skinny girl. It's no longer a skinny girl. Yes. You hear her talking? Can you watch it? That's just normal communication. No threat, no issues. Just letting others know what's happening around here. Maybe saying to them, look, I'm waiting here. These people are quite nice to me. They've looked after me all this time. I'm very sure they're going to bring me something soon. And uh, she's just going to wait around here and in the background there's a another old female that's also heavily pregnant and they seem to be staying in this garden today i think uh, it's about time for the babies to start arriving so the females don't go too far they're here where they know they're safe this girl here yeah. she's the alpha female that one coming there <laughs> yes. that took oh. from her you see yeah. that interaction oh. Um, the alpha female, that old girl with the beautiful sparkly eyes, she got the biscuits Steve through, through and uh, the skinny girl who's low ranking wasn't allowed to take. And see about that nick in her right. Hey, that's that noise that arrival just now was heard arriving. Everybody had noise. That gawk gawk noise that they. they make that was the arrival of uh, somebody of importance which was her she was here and the others were acknowledging that the dominant female was here still sharing his biscuits which is something he would tell people even not that to one do. is low to take the biscuits because it's too close to the female he says don't feed my kids by hand but um now these monkeys know us very well and they're in the area. You see how fat the high ranking old lady at the back is there? The little tummy and the boobies all full of milk already. And the little teats hang together because the babies drink from the two teats at the same time. They hold the two teats in their mouth and it also helps to keep their little head in the right position when mom is running and climbing and jumping so that the little head doesn't flip flop around. How's it Joe? Steve on the other phone. 
<laughs> That's how it goes here. Phone calls come in for rescues and all sorts of things. Um, and in the meantime, we were just sitting down to have a bit of coffee and our free-ranging troop arrived. Moses back here helping himself to a biscuit. The amazing thing about this troop is they forage beautifully in our garden for hours sometimes. Um, we've got a very big garden area where we've planted it up for them and they feed naturally. People say that the urban vervets don't know how to forage naturally um, because they got used to human food, but that's not true. Um, monkeys are not that stupid, they're pretty bright. Do you hear that noise there? Okay, that's a noise saying somebody else important has arrived, unless they're just letting, acknowledging that the um, dominant female, in fact, that's what it is, is here at the front. And she's letting uh, Moses know that she's actually higher ranking than him, even though he's a male. He has to step aside for her. And uh, she is allowed the first pickings of food. She gets groomed the most. She's a special girl. She's lucky because her little baby will take her rank and the two of them will be um, uh, high ranking Stephen, in the truth. Yes, what's up? Oh, this is Carol's phone. Sorry. Sorry, man. Bye. So that's our wild free range troop. Uh, sadly, they reduced drastically in number over the couple of years. Way back when I first started counting them, probably about 20 years ago, there were um, about 60 monkeys in this troop. And we're now down to 25. In fact, we dropped right down to 15. And uh, they've slowly gone up. We know for a fact that they were being trapped and used at the Muti Market because we were called out to the Muti Market where we rescued one of the monkeys that we had from our own troop and uh, immediately recognized him. He was very easy to recognize. His name was Goita and he had a very big swelling under his neck um, and he recognized us immediately when we found him there. So yes, they were being trapped and taken to the Muti market for sale where they get sold to make traditional medicine um, mixed up by the Sangomas to treat all manner of ailments. Yeah, lots of myths and misinformation about them out there. You can see um, this is an adult male. He's very, very gentle. Moses is... A lovely old boy. You do not need to be afraid of monkeys. You do not need to be afraid of adult male monkeys, especially they are not aggressive, dangerous animals that people believe they are. They're actually incredibly gentle. They will only respond if they need to protect one of their troop members. And if they're being hurt or injured themselves, they will respond. So if you try to pick him up or grab him or touch him, in all likelihood, he would bite you. I wouldn't suggest you try it. Monkeys are wild and should be respected as such.